Travel Affairs, where I work in the American Indian Environmental Office. So I work with Native American tribes across the country, um, and we do work to help them um, protect their air, land, water, and other resources. So we protect their, to protect their environment. So in a nutshell, that's what I do now. And in August, um, we'll make two years that I've been here in this office doing this work, but I've actually been in EPA um, close to 18, 19 years now. And most of my work that I've done has been in water. Um, I'm a marine scientist by training, and I um, study things that live in the mud um, and, and things that fish and crabs eat. So that's pretty much what I study. And if they're in healthy abundances, then we can be um, pretty much assured that the fish and crabs that eat them will be, in a sense, healthy for us to eat. So that's a real easy way to explain my, my passion is. So how did I get here? Um, wow, I, I grew up in, in um, the suburbs of Richmond, Virginia, and I, my family always, we would go fishing and crabbing and on boats, like all, all the time. I spent a lot of time in the water and then playing in creeks and things like that. So I just love water. And when I was six years old, my parents took me to California to visit my godparents and we went to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Have any of you ever been there? Uh, yeah, okay, I see one hand up. Okay. So you like understand how much I love this place. So at six years old, um, and it, so six years old, going to that aquarium and seeing how cool it was. You know, I told my parents this: I, I want to, I want to work in the ocean. I had no idea what that meant, but that's what I wanted to do. And I have to also remind you that when I had um, in, in elementary, in middle, and high school, I always had courses in um, Chesapeake Bay of Virginia and about ocean lectures and things like that. So I just, I gravitated towards those, um, those, those lessons. So right after I went to California, um, talked to my parents, and I, at that time, I, I, while I was, I was not an only child, I had a little sister who was not even a year old. So, but I would always spend my time, before she came along, I, I'm a reader. I love to read. So I was reading books, I would read encyclopedias, whatever I could get my hands on. So I would just read up on the ocean. And I found this job called a biologist, and I just knew they worked in the ocean, and I told my parents, that's what I want to be. So at that age, I wanted to be either a marine biologist or an astronaut. I was going to elementary school and middle school and high school. I just, I loved math and science. So I loved my, even though the math at times, bit difficult, I would find that I had to do that math that I learned in class, in my science class, so I could never really get away from it, so I just started to embrace it. So, took as many math and science courses as, as I could, um, I just stopped, I did, um, once I was finishing high school, to go to Coastal Carolina University, in about 10 miles um, from Myrtle Beach. Has anyone been there, or heard of Coastal? Yeah. Yeah, so I decided to go to Coastal Carolina, and um, I got a, a degree in marine science with uh, biology and German minors. So I also I learned German when I was started in middle school. So I speak German, um, but I took enough courses to get a minor in it. So sometimes you need it, but at least it's just, you know another skill to have. But um, and since then, um, well, when I graduated from Coastal. Carolina, I did, I did a lot of research while I was in, when I was in college. Um, I, in fact, I took two summers and I did internships. So I did, um, I went to Virginia for one summer, <clears throat> and then the following summer, I spent the entire summer in Hawaii doing research. I got to snorkel all day and spend time in a lab. It was a lot of fun. But, um, but doing all those research programs, um, it, it let me know that I, as much as I love marine 
science and I love field work, I didn't want to be in the field all the time. And so right after I graduated from, from college, I um, soon after found, got the job at EPA where I've been ever since. And um, <clears throat> up until two years ago, I led a national program to go out and determine whether the nation's coastal coastal regions and, and, and estuaries, so any, anything along the coast and, and the Great Lakes, if they are healthy, if they're in good condition. So that included a lot of field work, but that was a lot of fun. I got to spend time on boats. So, <clears throat> I mean, that's where I am in a nutshell. I, I continue to stick with math and science when I did my, um, my master's in science and policy, and I am months away from finishing my PhD um, in environmental science and public policy. Still science heavy, but bringing in some of that policy aspect. So that's me in a nutshell. Um, I'm more than happy for us to start asking questions and let's talk. Right now? Yeah. Oh, um, 
traffic. I work. And I didn't mention this. I mean, I. work on Pennsylvania Avenue. Two blocks, two blocks from the White House. And it's just blocks from the uh, U.S. Capitol. So I can walk outside and I can look in one direction and see the, the, the um, White House. And then look in the other and it's the Capitol. That being said, downtown is really busy. I live. I live, I'd say, 20 minutes, 25 minutes from downtown and, you know, in Maryland. So I just come over into the city. And it can sometimes take me an hour and a half to get to work if I drive. I take the, I take the subway a lot. And my other question is, have you ever been inside the White House? Question, I have. I have been inside the White House now maybe four or five times, oh, and I, I don't know if you know, there's a, there's a bowling alley at the White House. I got to go bowling there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, I didn't quit this year, but the three prior years, I volunteered at the White House Easter egg roll. So I got to be at the White House um, help with the, the yearly uh, Easter egg roll, and I've seen when President Obama was in office. I got to go over and watch him walk out of the White House, jump into the helicopter, and take off. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. 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 I was there for about three months, and then the second time, the, the, the two next times that I went, I was there for a, a week at a time for meetings. You go that far for a meeting, so you kind of need to stay more than a couple of days. But yeah, beautiful place. I did. I, I, um, the Big Island has the active volcanoes. So while I was there, um, my friends and I hiked to, went to the Volcanoes National Park and got to see the volcanoes and could actually, off in the distance, because I keep far away from it, you could see the lava flow down and into the ocean. So that was really cool. Wow. Yeah, you can still see that. Um, his whole um, 